Hello and a very warm welcome for the reading for the week ahead beginning Monday the 11th of July 2022 and my name is Judy Sharn. To this week we have a full moon in Capricorn starting on Wednesday the 13th of June about 6.35, 6.37 in the evening UK time. This moon is even though it's a full moon in Capricorn is also known as the full buck moon because this is the bucking season when they're out there cavorting and doing whatever they do. The full moon is a time of climaxes, completion of completion of a cycle. Things are coming to a head and you're looking at all the things that didn't work. We're well, getting ready to release that. Release all that's not serving you. Now, of course, with any full moon energy, you will be feeling the energy of this on the Tuesday, the 12th of June, as well as I'll on Thursday, the 14th of June. This moon may make you feel as if you need to be useful to society and you will also feel the need that you have to justify yourself. Justify yourself to other people for what you do and how you live your life. Why? Why do you need to justify to other people? Why? You may underestimate from you what you want from yourself. Shyness may be accompanied by resentment of that that people are ignoring you but if you're quiet and hiding away people are going to ignore you because they're not going to see you and you will be wanting to try and seek approval from other people you need you'll be wanting people to just you know justify you need approval from them this will not do you any good seeking approval and trying to justify yourself will not get rid of your own doubts it will actually be more harmful to you so trust your inner values so if you're thinking i'm not sure i need to ask i need to be justified no trust your own instinct and if you feel what you're doing needs to be justified to other people is that because you've got own self-doubt I need to prove, you know, justify what my actions are, blah, blah, blah. It's self-doubt. And all it is doing is just going to build on it. So let it go. So also we have on July the 16th, Jupiter enters our evening sky. So there'll be Jupiter and Saturn in the sky that you can be looking at. So remember on those, you're going to have not only have we got the energies of the planet Saturn, we're also now going to be having the wonderful energy of Jupiter see it in the sky and revel in the energy so let's look at the week a little bit more individually monday the 11th is a national essential oil day what is your favorite essential oil friday uh where are we friday the 15th is a celebrating of the horse day I love horses and I love horse Reiki. So we're celebrating horses on Friday the 15th. And on Saturday the 16th, um, not only is it the National Guinea Pig Day, it's a day called Toss Away the Could Haves and Should Haves Day. Move on from the past. Embrace what you have now. So that's what you've got to do on Saturday. Stop talking about, oh, I should have done that and I could have had this. You were given those opportunities. You chose not to take those opportunities. So stop beating yourself up. And if you're going, oh, I wish I'd done this now. Well, if you get the chance to do it, do it now. Throw away on Saturday those could haves and should haves. And next Sunday, we celebrate National Ice Cream Day. Just the perfect thing you need in the hot weather like this. So. I'm going to be doing the card reading with the Elemental Fairy Affirmation cards. And the reason why I'm doing this with well, twofold is that um, they are my own deck. But I'm also running a fairy course into how you can create your uh, manifest your wishes into reality. It's a very special, very unique course. No one else has done it before. It's to connect with the elements, earth, air, fire, water, spirit, and to Mother Earth and the universe. There is such an abundance out there in the universe, an abundance of air, abundance of planets, abundance of leaves on a tree, abundance of grass blades. There's an abundance of rats, uh, of um, ants and things like that. There isn't, and we are worthy. And because we are one of the universe, 
We are one of this abundance. And this course that I'm running starting Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday will show you how you can tap into this with the law of attraction and manifest your dreams, manifest your wishes. So have you got anything like I should have done this, I would have done that and it's never happened? Well, this is the course for you. Have you got a wish? Have you got a dream? Everyone has a wish. Everyone has a dream. If you don't, you're not human. So what is that wish? What is that dream? Is it time to take it from here into a physical reality? Join my course. The link will be in the group, in the, in the comments below. So let's see what the cards are. Connecting to the fairies. As we're talking to them, we're connecting. So we're going to take these cards. Oh, And it's very interesting. You saw me shuffle you saw me take the cards. We have one card from each of the elements. This is showing that we are in alignment with the universe. We are in alignment with the earth, the air, the fire, the water, and of course, spirit. So it says, I am light, I am love, I am joy. This is the message from spirit. I am, you are light, you are love, you are joy. When you are in alignment with yourself, running the life that is in alignment with you, living your truth, your authentic self, then you're in love and joy. When you're not living life to your authentic self, like you've got a job you don't like, that's not your authentic self, you're not liking it, you're out of sync. You're in a relationship that people have been controlling of you. You're not in alignment with yourself. This is what they wanted to do. When you're in alignment with yourself, then you're in the flow. And you're doing things right. So this is I am light, I am love, I am joy. When you're work, when you're working on your wishes, <clears throat> and they're the right wishes, they will come true. Then we come to water, dealing with our emotions. Our emotions, kindness is free and flows freely through me. Have you noticed that when you're nice and kind to people, people are nice and kind back to you? When you're spiteful and doing horrible things and you're thinking, oh, I'm going to do this and walk over people and then you achieve what you want. But you don't get that satisfaction because you've walked over people. You've been horrible. You've been stabbing people. And that. What is that true satisfaction in you? Do you feel really in alignment or do you have go? Mm, I got this, but this is kindness is free and flows. So, yes. Go for your dreams and do what you have to do. But whatever you do, whoever there, be kind and loving to other people. And you will find that your dream will come through quicker. Then we've got passion. I feel the energy within me. I am active and alive. Yes, we're working on our dreams. <clears throat> we've got things that are coming to fulfillment this week. We've got a full moon. And it's like, yes, I feel the energy within me. I'm active and alive absolutely when you're working in alignment you are passionate if you've got that job you love you're going to get up at monday and go to work if you're doing a job that you don't like you're going to come to monday and go Ugh. okay when you're in alignment you feel the energy within me that is your instinct your power your love it works with you and then it says my goals are simple and uncomplicated this is earth earth is all about creating everything you need the groundwork your home, your health, your wealth, your education, your money, everything that you need to survive. Earth has it for you. You want shelter. Well, there's caves. You want lit water to drink. There's water. There's in rivers. OK, the universe supplies it. But of course, we want houses. We don't want to live in a cave. We don't want to live around. Well, you might do. But, you know, we want the modern day technologies. My goals are simple and uncomplicated. When you have a simple goal, a simple wish, none of this. Oh, I want this and this. And then, and if happen, this happens, there, keep it simple. What is it that you really, really want? And that's what we do when you work with the fairies and work with the elements and work with the universe and, and, and everything else. Keep it simple because life is so much easier when it's simple. When it's like, oh, it's complicated. We can't do this because we've got to do this. Simplify it. What is it that you really, really want? I want shelter. I want food. I want air to breathe. And I need money to be able to buy the things for this. Look at it strip it back and then manifest it and then 
As I dream it, I will believe it, and so I will achieve it. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better card. This week is all about believing. Believing you are light. Believing you are love. Believing your joy. And when you believe that and you're in alignment with you, and you're lying and you're being kind to yourself, kind and loving to yourself, and you suddenly go, this is my goal. This is what I want. My goal. When it's simple and easy, I believe it. I dream it. I will achieve it. And you can. Because when you are running after your goal and, well, and achieving it, you get the energy. These cards couldn't have been better. But this is just absolutely perfect for my fairy course this week. Do you have a dream? Yes or no? No. Do you have a wish? Yes or no? And instead of going, <coughs> I want to constantly think about it. Would you like this wish? Would you like this dream to become a reality? Would you like it? Like I said, make sure it's as simple. You know, oh, I want a million pounds. Well, actually... How much is it you really want? You just want some more money to be able to cover your bills right now. So strip it back. When you dream it, you will believe it. And so you will achieve it. You can. I've achieved so much by believing it. But what I had to do was action my thought into a reality, like writing it down and creating it. So be honest. Have you a dream? Have you a wish? Have you got a desire? Have you got a want? Have you got a need? What is it? And do you want it now? If you believe it and you dream it, you can achieve it. Join my fairy course this week and you can do it. What a wonderful reading this week with a full moon. We've got Jupiter coming with us. We've got a National Essential Oil Day. We've got the day that says, toss away those could haves, I should haves. Yeah, get away with it. Now go, I'm grasping those opportunities. Because when you talk about I could have, I should have, you threw away those opportunities. Now you're going to grasp them. What an amazing week. If you're interested in joining me this week on the fairy course, please do so. Wishing you a fantastic week, whatever you get up to. I can't wait to connect with the energy of the full moon and Jupiter. Take care. Namaste. Bye.